Welcome to the DeFi Standard. This is Patty XRP, and this is going to be a how to video covering wrapping and delegating of the Songbird token utilizing the Bifrost wallet, which I will go through first. And then at the end, we'll have a little conversation about some of the signal providers out there. And I'll talk about the two that I'm going to choose out the gate. However, you know, it's subject to change as commission rates and you know success rates change for these signal providers but we'll go over who i'm going to start out with and why so moving into our video on delegating and wrapping the songbird token i have a video from my phone i recorded earlier and just to start off here so i have songbird and wrap songbird under here just blurred out um, because they have my total amounts <coughs> Apologies. And then from there, we can keep going. So if I select Songbird, so that was on the last page, it'll bring me here. It says I have about 897 Songbird tokens. And in the top right, there's going to be a little um, three dots, which you'll be able to click to wrap those tokens. And just a quick note about wrapping before you get trigger happy. You are definitely going to want to leave, I would say, around three to five Songbird tokens in your wallet to be safe to pay for gas fees in the future. And that way, you know, you just always have a little dust lying around in your wallet so you can perform any of the actions you may need to on the Songbird network, especially if you get into a crunch, if you're in some CDPs and XFi in the future, or liquidity pools, you may want to move around assets quickly. So you don't really want to rely on having to go and source Songbird from exchanges if you don't have any assets readily available uh, to trade into it within the Songbird ecosystem. So highly suggest just leaving a few of the Songbird tokens unwrapped at all times. So with that, we can continue and we kick those three dots. There's the wrap that pulls down and then it's going to say, OK, we got 897 Songbird. How many are we going to wrap? And I'm going to plug in 895. So I left about you know 2.7 there. And with that, it'll say the gas fee is 0 0.0491 Songbirds. OK. And the tr transaction was submitted and then. You can see it's kind of loading there behind the blur. And once that's done, pulled down and it shows how much wrap Songbird I just had and we'll have less Songbird tokens available. So what I did there was clicked into the wrap Songbird field. And from there, I'm going to click this three dots again under the wrap Songbird account. And with that, it allows you to click delegate. And here it'll say, you know, how much do you have delegated already? How much do you have available for delegation? And with that, um, we can continue. So down here at the bottom, it says no active delegations. I click add a delegation. So my first one is going to be Scandi nodes FTSO. And I did 50% to them. That went through gas fee around 0 0.07 Songbird. And then for the second signal provider, I'm going to start off with. So I just do the same process as before. I'm really bad with the blur. <laughs> and the second one's going to be Arius Aux. And I gave them 50% of my total wrapped Songbird tokens as well. And that's how you do it. So um, the reason I'm go ahead and you know did all this today is because we heard that tomorrow the Songbird network has you know, randomly selected the beginning of the first epoch reward period. Currently, these periods are going to last for a week. However, it does seem like governance could change it in the future. I'm unsure why uh, Flair, the Flare team at this point chose to make it a week long. My guess is maybe to let the network kind of, you know, not overload it too quickly, basically. And so what this means is that the final block before the epoch reward period starts that's when the voting power will be locked in for a week. That's what it seems like to me from what I've been able to gather. And so that means any spark locked or sorry, any rap songbird in a delegation before that time will be able to accrue rewards the entire week and it will be claimable at the end of the week. So there'll be a week period where people are claiming rewards. And certainly if you, you know, maybe you don't have your songbird tokens yet because you're on exchange and you're getting them next Monday. What you can do then is go ahead and delegate during um you know that week period that other people may be receiving rewards 
and then you'll start the next period and then you'll start accruing rewards. So, <coughs> dang, sorry guys. And so with that, that's going to how it's, that's how it's going to work for now. We'll see, you know, things change. Uh, I, I really love to see something from Flare on, you know, why it is set up that way, especially as we see some of the proof of stake networks having, um, you know, daily compounding available. And, so with that, we can get into talking about some of these signal providers. So like we saw in my demonstration, I decided to go with Scandi nodes, which currently is number five in the voting power for all the signal providers at 2.23 uh, million rap songbird delegated to them with a 20% commission. Additionally, I went with Arius Ox, who has 352,000 uh, rap songbird votes delegated to them with a 20% commission as well. So the default commission rate built into the network is 20%. So that's why we see it all there. And I imagine that some of these uh, signal providers down here are going to want to lower their rate to become more competitive with the likes of especially Bifrost Oracle, FTSO EU, and FTSO AU. And I, you know, I'd like to touch on like, just because, you know, I can only pick two right now. That's just a network limitation. So, you know, there's a lot of signal providers here that I would be more than happy to delegate my votes to out the gate. Uh, personally, Marco from FTSO EU and Tim Rowley from FTSO AU have been tremendous helps to the community and the rest of their teams as well. I just know there's some of the more forward facing guys on those individual teams and, you know, I would have, you know, considered delegating to them. They have a ton of voting power. So I'm just trying to spread mine around a little bit to some of these other FTSOs, especially when we're kicking off Songbird Network. So that's why I didn't go with them. Bifrost have total trust in them as well. Toho Labs is behind, you know, the Bifrost wallet, XRP toolkit. They run a validator, um, you know, so on the XRP ledger, they'll be running, I'm sure, Flare validators and Songbird validators as well. So... Uh, they're definitely a good choice. And FTSO UK, they've got a great website, you know, plenty of information there. I've seen them in the community for a while. Scandi nodes. So what kind of cued me in on these is that they're looking at building, you know, on multiple different blockchains. And, you know, maybe they're not the highest voting power, but they're still relatively high. So I'm kind of, you know, spreading out between a higher one and a lower one between Scandi nodes and Arius Ox. But the reason, especially, I wanted to get into Arius Ox is Nick from the team has been tremendous help to me throughout, you know, this entire time leading up to Songbird on, you know, helping me start getting set up with a node and stuff like that when I had no idea how to do some of the coding language. So I very, you know, very much appreciated that. Uh, and I also knew like he, you know, they don't have as much exposure on social media as some of these other ones. Additionally, he's got all his signals and his team on their website, and I've looked at them and they look pretty solid with what's going on in the market. You know, I'll add in additionally, we have Best FTSO that's doing something really interesting. So they are going to be giving away special rare NFTs every month. And I believe if you want to get in on the first NFT drop that they put out a post saying you just need to at least do it for a week during the first month. So possible I may move over to there and try and get one of those NFTs. I imagine more of the signal providers will do stuff like this in the future, or you know, maybe they issue their own tokens where if you hold enough, you get you know a discount on the commission rate. So that'll be interesting to see and glad we have one coming out with that stuff right out the gate. But I do know that some of the other signal providers are you know, working on offering other things as well. Like FTSO AU on their website lets you delegate to any other signal provider in the network via their website connecting with metamask so that's really cool that they did that and i know a lot of the other signal providers have built out the ability for you to delegate uh directly via their websites and you know not to leave out some of these other ones uh aftso is actually a new one i'm aware of there's not a ton of information on their website but they have garnered a lot of votes so that's one i definitely want to keep my eye on Alpha Oracle has a great website with, you know, a bunch of blogs and stuff on DeFi, on the Flare network, and seems to have a grasp. Use Your Spark, they have a great website as well. And I think they're one of the newer ones, like in the past couple of months. They have signals there, so you can check them out. Lena Instruments, which is interesting. They're located in Swiss and seem to have some kind of um, attachment to the financial industry there. And they're one that just popped up recently along with Inner Oracle. 
uh, that I had not known about before. So be interesting to see some of these newer ones. And then Sundara as well is going to be, I believe, in East Asia they're located. They actually tweet out all their price signals on the time from uh, all the time on their Twitter. So that's pretty cool that you can see that in live if you're ever interested in checking them out as well. Uh, and then as far as people that don't have any delegations, like I've been aware of Flare FTSO, FTSO.com and FTSO Flare for a little while. I just I don't know if they're ready to go or not yet. So we'll have to see on that amount, especially since they don't have commission rates in yet. So they may still be bootstrapping uh, their signal providers up and all their you know, infrastructure as well. BitTrue, I imagine they're going to be um, on the or they'll have you delegate via their um, exchange interface directly, similar to how they do some of the staking there. So I don't know if you're going to have the power to you know delegate to them from the Bifrost wallet or Descent in the future. Um, I'll be curious to see on that as well. And then Augustus Finance, I know they have a website out that you can visit. So I'd like to see them and FTSO Dev kind of get verified on here. And these couple other ones add some commission rates before I comment on them too much. But, you know, giving a rundown on all that, I've looked at all of these signal providers, their websites and stuff and looked through them. Definitely quite a few that I would delegate to. Like if we had five, I'd probably go 20% five ways and, you know, spread it out if you can. It helps with the decentralization and getting the network bootstrapped from the start. You know, we're going to have to see how the rewards come in and all that stuff over the next week. But just know the beginning of the Epoch reward period, the first one is starting tomorrow at 1442 UTC time. And um, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. This is the DeFi standard. I'm Patty XRP and I'm out.